Hi, it's Miss Julie. Today I'm reading Amazing Airplanes by Tony Mitten and Ant Parker, published by Scholastic. If you stay on after I finish reading the book, I'll show you how to make a really cool airplane out of popsicle sticks and a clothespin. Looks like the animals are packing for a trip. And do you see those paper airplanes flying by? Have you ever made a paper airplane? Whoosh! An airplane is amazing for it travels through the sky, above the clouds for miles and miles, so very fast and high. An airport is the place you go to take a trip by air. You check in at the terminal to show you've paid your fare. The ground crew weigh your luggage and load it in the hold. And then you take the walkway to the plane when you are told. This is gate seven. And I see there's a fuel tank filling up the gas tank of the airplane. And do you see the blue car with the carts behind it? They take the suitcases and put them right onto the airplane. Do you see the, the um, worker loading a, a suitcase onto the plane right now? Cleared for takeoff. The flight decks where the captain and co-pilot do their jobs. They both know how to fly the plane with all its dials and knobs. They radio control tower to check the runways clear. They can't take off unless it is with other planes so near. Hello, this is your captain speaking. By intercom, the captain on the flight deck says hello. You have to put your seatbelt on before the plane can go. A plane is big and heavy, yet it climbs up really high. It zooms along the runway and soars into the sky. Whoosh! Its wings hold big jet engines, which are loud and very strong. They suck in air and blow it through to whoosh the plane along. When the plane moves fast enough, the air around so swift, it pushes up beneath the wings and makes the whole plane lift. Soon the plane is in the air, so now you're on your flight. The cabin crew look after you and make sure you're all right. They bring you drinks and magazines and trays of food to eat. And sometimes there's a movie you can watch while in your seat. Bump, bump. When the journey's over, the captain lands the plane. Control tower has to say it's safe for coming down again. You sit with seatbelt fastened. There's a bumpy rumbling sound. The wheels are making contact and the plane is on the ground. At last, the doors are opening. Then out you come with smiles. So give a cheer. Hooray, you're here. You've flown for miles and miles. This page has different airplane parts. The control tower is where the air traffic controllers direct the planes and tell pilots when to take off and land safely. The wings are hollow to make them as light as possible and a smooth shape so they move through the air easily. The terminal is the building at the airport where passengers go to catch a plane. Jet engines blow out air and gas to push the plane forward. The gas is made by burning fuel. The hold is the space where heavy luggage is stored. The wheels fold away while the plane is in the air. 
And the flight deck is sometimes called the cockpit. That's where the pilot and co-pilot sit. This is a plane I made with the Violet class this year. You need two popsicle sticks, a clothespin, some glue, and then when I was at school, I had a smaller popsicle stick, but I don't have those at home. So I took a box top from a cereal box and I cut out something that looks like a popsicle stick, but it's only about half the size. It's just made out of cardboard from the box. So what you're going to do is you, I would have, I would decorate the um, clothespin and the popsicle sticks so that they look nice. Um, you put a popsicle stick down, you put some glue down, you put the clothespin down. I guess I did it this way with the wider part here. So glue, popsicle stick, more glue, popsicle stick, and then the smaller one goes in the back and you let it dry and you will have your very own airplane and they're fun to play with.